here to say I'm gonna be reviewing a mystery bag from Key of E Beauty today. So I did look inside of the bag <laughs> just to see what I was going to be going through and like trying with you guys. And so because of that I just washed my face, got my hair a little wet, and um I didn't do my, my acne regimen or anything like that uh just yet um because I wanted to try some of these things so I put it into two different piles things that I am going to try and things that I'm just going to show you so I'm going to show you the show you pile first so this one is make sense silk it's a primer and pore minimizer um I think it's so it says that it can be used alone or as an actual primer but I think I'm going to save it as an actual primer and there are two of them but I'm going to save it for that um yeah next thing is seen jeans gents hand cream can you see that actually i might do this one no because i have a different one i'm gonna do instead but yeah it's a hand cream these are all sample sizes uh they asked me which type of mystery box i wanted or mystery bag i wanted uh either eyeliner eyeshadow or uh um lipstick and i went with the eyeliner because it's my favorite and so everything else is like, uh, you know, sample size. This one is Smoothing Body Scrub. I definitely want to try this when I shower tomorrow. Um, I feel like it's not going to be enough to, for my whole body, but, you know, get it in the important, important areas. I kind of want to try the one right now, but I was like, I don't feel like taking a shower right now. <laughs> no. Um, glossy Gloss. That's all it says, Glossy Gloss. And this one is interesting. I think this is also another one that I could use with makeup. It says color corrected tinting moisturizer. Not really sure how it makes it color corrected. It says um, apply to face and blend for smooth natural look and to help cover up imperfections. So I don't know what this is going to be like, but I'll definitely have to let you guys know what that looks like because what do I know? <laughs> This one's Seen Jeans Solution Facial Resurfacer. This does not explain to me at all what a facial resurfacer is. Uh, it just says gently massage in the clean, moist skin using circular motions to exfoliate skin for a smooth complexion. Rinse well. So it just looks smoother? I, d I don't know. I probably should try this one. I got one eyeliner. It kind of looks blue. I'm not entirely sure. It just says it's a... Oh wait, it says navy. It's navy blue. It's a long-lasting eyeliner pencil. It looks like this. There we go. So, let's do this first, okay? I didn't grab a smaller mirror. That's great. Um, I'm just going to do a heart. It's a very crummy heart. I should have just done it like this way. Yeah, that looks better. So, um, how should I test this? It says long lasting, but it doesn't say smudge proof. So maybe it's not smudge proof. So, I'm being pretty gentle, being a little rougher. Oh, it's pretty good. Yeah. It's not entirely smudge proof, but it's holding up pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Now, I got so many glosses and I hate lipstick. But you know what I hate more than lipstick? Lip gloss. <laughs> so there's rose gloss, uh, bonguendevella gloss, sand gloss, pearl gloss, and orchid gloss. I think the one I'd be least likely to use would be orchid. Um, so I think I'll just take this off and try it now. Some people might think it's a waste, but look. Do you think I'll ever use this color? <laughs> no. Okay, so it's got a little rip part here. Okay, I guess I'm just ripping it that much, because look, it's all spewing. Eh! 
I know, it just dripped on my pants. I don't even know how to put on lip gloss. Hold on here. I hate this feeling. Where did chocolates and peanuts meet? At the candy bar. Okay, um, I hate this feeling. How do I wipe it off? <laughs> but, um, this isn't entirely an orchid color. Unless maybe you had, like, a pink lipstick underneath. But it just looks like slime. <laughs> that felt worse. So far, this, uh, mystery bag seems really great. It's got some good products in it, but lip gloss is my least favorite thing, and they gave me that, the most of that. Um, I kind of want to see what the other colors would look like, just because, look at this. Let's try the pearl one next, you know what? Why not? Let's go down the line. Should I do sand gloss after this one? Oh boy. I feel like sand gloss would actually probably go look good on my black lipstick. Um, I hate lip gloss. So look at that coming out white. Oh wait, look, kind of looks like shimmery. This one actually does kind of look white. Not as white as I was expecting. Dude, there's still a lot in this. But it does look white. I hate this so much. <laughs> I'm sorry, Key of E Beauty. Your products are great. It's just I really hate the feeling of it. I'm not dissing your products at all. So, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these three. <laughs> But I don't want to just keep testing them. My lips already feel weird. So I'll put the rest of these away. These things I really want to try. Well, I really wanted to try the eyeliner. And also, do you know what this is? I thought it was like for hand sanitizer, but it doesn't fit. I thought it was for hand sanitizer, but the only part that fits is this part. That's not helpful. So, I don't know. Like, the eyeliner fits. But I don't know if that's actually what it's meant for. Like, maybe it's for brushes? Lipstick? That's probably for lipstick. So you have to bring that on the go to reapply. I don't know. I might give this to my friend Brie. Who knows? All right. So, we have two more things that I'm going to try. Actually, let me show you the other things I'm not gonna try. Uh, they gave me some mints. Uh, they said, yo, yo, breath stinks. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. They might think that, I don't know. Um, and then a Jolly Rancher. And then they also gave me this cute little baggie, which I'm probably gonna put the rest of these in. That's probably the point of it. It's got a unicorn on it. It's almost as gay as me. Anyway, so the last two things I'm gonna try, I might have to wash my face for, or like just wipe it again. Um, because I have Advanced Hydration Body uh, Lotion from Seeing Jeans. Um, so this one I'm gonna put like on my arms just to feel it. But also I have eczema, so a lot of lotions do burn. They at least feel like they burn. They might not look like they burn, but they burn. So I don't know if this is <laughs> actually gonna be okay for me, but I'm trying anyway. And then this one is anti-aging moisturizer, which I might not need as of yet because I am 22, but I'm gonna try it anyway and definitely try to get under here and get the lines up here. But this is just human lines, like it's not, doesn't look like I'm getting old. Bags a little bit. So, I'm gonna wipe my face off first. You know, wipe the whole face off. I don't need expressions. <laughs> that was a joke, not sure if you got it. Now, let's do the anti-aging moisturizer. I don't know what this is gonna feel like, and that makes me nervous. My hand's slippy. It's slippery. Oh, that, that went pretty well. Smells weird. It smells kind of like the ocean and like coconuts. Okay. It just said to 
to apply the skin, face, neck, or body and massage on the skin before applying all this other stuff. Feels okay. Feels honestly like just putting water on my face. I'm getting the whole face because don't want to age too much. Oh, now it smells good. It smells like lemon. I mean, it smells fine beforehand, but now it kind of smells like lemon. I'm starting to run out of this one. I got a big face apparently. Let's get the snaws. The snaws. They're acne right here. Most of this is scarring, believe it or not. But I do feel acne in certain spots. Hey. Oh, yeah, it doesn't hurt. It really doesn't hurt. Which is good. So I was kind of expecting it to hurt. Now, let's do the body lotion, advanced hydration body lotion. I'm gonna take this off. A little bit of a tan. Oh, dude, I forgot to put on sunscreen today. That's not good. Don't think this is a lot for my size, but it's just sample size anyway. Let me call my hair stand up. Okay, um, okay, this one is actually starting to burn, but I want them even, so I'm gonna do it on the other arm, too. It's not, like, it's not that it's this company's fault, because it's not. I just have eczema. Not everything's gonna work with me. So I just wanna make sure I let you guys know that it's not their fault. This was different for me. I wasn't going to get the mystery bag, um, if my friend hadn't been a part of this company. But if you want to get your own mystery bag, I think it's too late to get this one, but they said they do it a few times. Um, so you can get a full eyeliner, or you can get a full lipstick, or you can get a full eyeshadow. Well, they had several different um, sizes. I picked the smallest one, it was $20. And that's a lot. That's a good amount for $20. All sample sizes with an eyeliner. Pretty good. And this, well, this little baggie. So... Yeah, I do recommend, um, look up Key of E Beauty, I'll type it up here, Key of E Beauty, um, if you would like to have one of your own. Anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching, I know this was something different, but I decided I wanted to try it. So, um, so, before I finish this video, I contacted Emily, who is the owner of Key of E Beauty, and I wanted to know if I could, if I was allowed to do my review on YouTube, and she said yes. But she also said that technically these are from a different company. They're from S E N E G E N C E. I don't know how to pronounce it. Seems jeans. And I I mentioned it earlier in this video while reading the other things. But I didn't know if like that was the big company or not. But yeah, so that's the big company. And then she also said to try the lip glosses on top of lipstick. I kind of assumed I was supposed to do that, but I didn't really feel like doing that. Um, but I figured I'm like, you know what, I haven't finished editing this video, I might as well just actually try it the way it's supposed to be. So I, I decided I will try two of these, uh, one on each of these lipsticks. This one's all black, and then this one's kind of a nude color. Um, yeah. So she said not only will it look better, It'll also feel better and won't feel as like glossy um, if you do this on top of the lipstick. So, since this one's more difficult to take off, I'm gonna go with the nude one first. Um, yeah. And this is just lipstick I'm used to. Can't really tell it's on, other than the little shine. So I think I will go go big or go home. I'm gonna go with the red one. But you can see it's red. I still really do hate the feeling. Um, but it's already coming off. Uh, more vibrant. Alright, um, it's a good color, 
Um, it's like I said, it's more of a okay. hybrid. Do the black one stick. Doesn't have to be perfect. <laughs> Not going anywhere. Now I'm gonna do the sand gloss. Because I feel like this color would look good on black. And this one, this is the brightest lipstick I have. So it should be obvious that this is on. At least I think so. Look at that. My black's coming out. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I really don't like the feeling of this. Um, and I don't know if that one's very noticeable. It, it looks a little shimmery. Um, like it's got the shine from the light, but it's also got shimmers. But I hate the feeling. But either way, I'm glad that I tried it this way because I do think it does look better with the lipstick. Anyway, you guys can so, judge. This is Minnie Mo signing off. Bye. Stay beautiful.